All right, Tour Down the Stage 5 highlights. As you can see, Patrick Bevan has crashed here. A little less than 10 kilometers to go. And he's on the floor. Looks pretty badly hurt, to be honest. A um, couple of CCC boys around him trying to hold him up. Looks like an absolute state, to be honest, the old man. Uh, poor lad. Uh, but luckily, he does manage to get back in using quite a lot of motor pacing, which is... Uh, there's a lot of controversy in this um, because people think maybe he should have got disqualified. You can see here he's doing a lot of motor pacing behind. I think motor pacing, fair play, like, you know... Crashes, like, no one cares. Like, you have a crash, it's like, just let the person try and get back in as quickly as possible. Like, I don't really think it should, like, change the result that much of a race. Like, fair enough if he went on to win the stage, but, like, he's not. He just wants to, like, stay in the bunch. Like, I, I think that's fair play. Anyway, 2.8 kilometers to go on this flat sprint stage. Um, anyway, yeah, so it's, pr it's a pretty exciting stage. We've got Caleb Ewan controversy coming up later. Anyway, strung out, classic, to be honest. Uh, as you can see, just... Classic streaming out to be honest. There's not much else to say. Most of the sprint teams are at the front. Um, Patrick Bevan's back in, which is good. Uh, just moving up now, making sure there are no splits, and uh, everyone else seems pretty comfortable at this moment in time. Super super fast running, as uh, as you can see here, they're almost spinning out. Team Scott on the right hand side, same with Mission and Scott. Katusha in the middle. We've got Bauhaus boys coming up in the middle, um, and Viviani's there thereabouts. Um, but yeah, so it, it, the main thing is with this is there's a there's a couple corners at the. Just with like 1.8k to go, you can see here Bora has got on the front controlling at the Sagan, which is good. Quick step up there, uh, but yeah, pretty mess messy train so far. No one's really taking control. Um, I think that's mainly because it's such a fast sprint, it's really hard to hold the front, uh, which means that a lot of teams are swamping. But anyway, around these corners, you can see it's really strung out. So Bora doing a good job keeping Sagan sort of up there, uh, more or less. Um, yeah, Jasper Philipson is up there, Ked Buren's there, uh, Viviani. Uh, Bauhaus, um, a couple others, but you'll see, and we finally get some good footage here, 1.3 kilometers to go, starting to swarm about six or seven wheels back, and see people are starting to take to the front, quick step now, come to the front with Morkov, Sabatini on the wheel, then Viviani, uh, Dan McClay's boys um, on the left-hand side, uh, on the right-hand side, we have uh, Katusha going for Jens de Buscara, uh, and then Movistar just keeping all their GC hopefuls safe, so around this corner, you can see Morkov doesn't take it that quickly, just trying to make sure that um, he can really sprint out the corners and then string everyone else out, yeah, effectively that's what he's trying to do and you'll see the next one he also does that I think it's also because he wants to stay on the front for a longer time so if he was railed that corner um, it would be harder for him to stay on the front so anyway, you can see around the corner not going absolutely full so again is there get this useless camera footage I mean it's quite a cool camera footage but like you know we want to see what's happening up top anyway helicopter view watch so Caleb Ewan here is elbowing Jasper Phillips out there's one headbutt there's two headbutts cheerio is taking Sagan's position absolute fair play in my opinion um you can see as Sabatini starts to launch now Viviani's on his wheel Sabatini does a too slow lead out you can see on the left hand side you've got Bauhaus moving up and then uh Viviani decides that it's time to go but Caleb Ewan's already got the jump on he goes super early has a good draw Sabatini goes down the barrier side so Viviani goes down the barrier side, Sabatini drifts the other way, Caleb Ewan has a good good launch and managed to get it on the line ahead of Sagan, Philipson, Vanny, Danny Van Poppel and Dubus Guerrero. It was a pretty messy sprint, Viviani left it too late. Um, but anyway, we're going to watch the overhead sh sh shots again, um, just to see why Caleb Ewan got disqualified and Jesper Philipson won the stage. In my opinion, it was complete, bollocks shouldn't have been disqualified, completely fair play. Um, no one thought anything of it, I think Jesper Philipson was surprised, Caleb Ewan was surprised. Um, that happens at every single sprint. People are always bumping and barging. Um, I, I don't really see the issue with it, but potentially they think it's dangerous. I don't know. Anyway, so here you go, one kilometer to go. So you can see, this is perfect footage. Morkov finally takes the front now. Viviani's now third wheel. You can see uh, that Danny Van Pop was on the left-hand side, getting boxed in around this corner. Uh, you mean Morkov takes it in. Astana tries to dive bomb it, but I think that might be Luis Leon Sanchez. Around this corner again, starts to really string out. And Sabatini um, takes over after this corner. Morkov just goes through it. Um, and when Sabatini leads out, I, in my opinion, he doesn't lead out fast enough, which is why Caleb Ewan goes, uh, goes earlier than Viviani. And this is the problem when you lead out from the front. You really have that last lead out man has to really up the pace because otherwise people get the jump on you because the speed differential isn't that much bigger. So you can see here, this is where the el elbow footage, I'm going to slow it down so you can see what, that's the second headbutt. And he pushes Jasper Phillipson. As soon as his bars are ahead of Phillipson's bars, then when he pushes him off the wheel, Phillipson's got nowhere to go apart from backwards. Bauhaus's man starts to lead out on the right hand side now as soon as Sabatini takes up, but Bauhaus is way too far back. You can see at this moment in time, Viviani is not getting a fast enough lead out. Viviani goes on the left of the barriers, but Caleb Ewan's already launched and up to a speed faster than Viviani is. And then Sabatini goes to the right, Philipson's there, Sagan's coming. You can see then Danny Van Poppel goes on the left, yeah, and same with Jens de Bruce Gray, but realistically, Caleb Ewan gets that quite easily, and then Philipson and then Sagan. So yeah, anyway, in my opinion, that was, yeah, we'll watch again here. Too slow lead out. 
Viviani goes on the right, Kabian's already up to speed, slightly uphill finish as well. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So yeah, what are your thoughts? Should Caleb Newton got disqualified for me? Definitely not. I think it's fair play. Jasper Philipson got pushed out the wheel. Fair play. Um, so yeah. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.